Hi guys and welcome back once again to Graveyard Keeper. So I've been a little bit busy off camera again. Um, as you guys can you can kind of see, we've got a few upgrades and I'll, I'll give you guys the rundown on everything in just a second. Um, one of the things that we have accomplished is I've been working on the wine and we did finally get some silver wine, but I haven't... Uh, handed any in yet to anyone so i think in total we need 12 let's give the to the respective people so we've got that the other thing is we have the fish fillets for the guy at the church and i'll show you guys how i got that uh, and where the waterfall is um but yes it is pride day you know what else we should get is um, a pumpkin because we also have a silver pumpkin um, for Clotho. Clotho is waiting on that. So yeah, we've got a bunch of quest items to be handing in, which is going to make major progress for us on our storyline. We also have four buddies waiting for us in the morgue. It's uh, it's been. <laughs> It's been busy. It's been busy here. All right, so let's start off. Let's give this guy his fish. You're my savior. I hope that didn't sound blasphemous. <laughs> By the way, I forgot to mention that you'll need to get a building permit to perform any construction on the royal lands. As far as the permit is concerned, I'm afraid you're on your own. I try to avoid their soulless, greedy bureaucracy at any cost. Mm. Okay. So, building permission. Oh, we can. Okay. 20 silver? Yeesh. Well, actually, I think we do have enough because I also got a bit of gold wine. Um, so I sold the gold wine and I also sold some of our, um, what are they called? Vegetables. <laughs> That's what they're called. Great. Okay. We've got building permission now. So I'm ready to upgrade the church. Oh, wow. Very good. Very good indeed. Ooh. I'm no fan of this modern architecture. There's far too much light in here for my taste. <laughs> too much light. But our modern faithful citizens, they'll enjoy it. Mark my words, in 10 years, some of them might even learn how to read. What a crazy time this is. Indeed. By the way, I think you should make the donation box bigger. And speaking of donations, are you aware that in order to perform a ceremony in a big church, you'll need to be a rightful citizen? Not really. Oh, then I must have forgot to mention it. No wonder. So many more important things on my mind. Just show me your rightful citizen papers and I'll gladly open the big church. Oh, no. Oh my god. Rightful citizen? Oh, it's only three silver. Um, rightful citizen papers. Okay, we've got that. Great. So we still should have time to perform a ceremony today. So about the cathedral. I have rightful citizen papers. Good. It wasn't actually necessary, I suppose. <laughs> Who would ever know you about your citizenship except me? Haha. <laughs> That's not fair. Think of it as a test. A test of your faith, my son. Do you even know how hard it is to find someone who reaches my high standards? Ah, uh, you don't know. But I know, even my brother disappointed me. But that's a story too sad to be told. Ooh, I think his brother might be the merchant. I need you to build a cathedral here, a really tall one. You and I, we will perform a great ceremony in this cathedral. We will pray for the Vimo River to be filled with water. The town is dying without water, and I shall save the town. Uh, what about the town's cathedral? Why can't you perform the ceremony in the town cathedral? Well, technically we don't have a cathedral. Our old cathedral steeple collapsed during the Great Blast, and we haven't been able to rebuild it. No new construction isn't allowed to be taller than the King's Palace, but out here we can build a cathedral with a proper steeple. What about building a cathedral here? Let me guess, I'll need a lot of uh, graveyard prettiness and church prettiness. What a fine, intelligent graveyard keeper you are. Plus one for the team, I was right about you. How many do I need exactly? <laughs> Let me see, you have 30 plus 10, carry the 3, move the 2, plus 5, let's double it for both sides, and it'll be, wait, I lost count, 
let's just say 50 church produce and 800. Wow, 800, that sounds like too much. Yes, you're probably right. Okay, we'll say 200. Oh my god. Oh, okay, you got me. You you got us there. Okay. Um, okay, nothing else about the cathedral. Damn. Okay, well, I mean, we're halfway there. <laughs> Sheesh. Jabeta. <laughs> Do we have a sermon? No, we left the sermon in the box. Okay, let's go get it. All right, I'm not lighting any candles today. I want to see how we do without any candles. I wonder if we have higher attendance as well. Okay. Hmm. Now we still got four. Plus two bonus. So we're still getting the same amount of faith. Okay. Last time we did a church sermon, the donations were around three silver. So we'll have to see what we get out now. I think it's going to be about the same. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Okay, so upgrading the church didn't have any impact on either of those things. So now let us take a quick tour. I'm gonna show you guys where the waterfall is um, and how to catch the, those fish. So we go around here. Here we are. So here's the waterfall fishing spot. And over here you need to catch bream um, in order to make those fish fillets. So you need like a little, yeah, well, the lowest quality minimum, uh, bronze quality bream, take them to your cooking table, cut them up, and those are your fish fillets for the um, bishop dude. Uh, okay, so I think we have a clothos pumpkin. Okay, I brought you a pumpkin. Great. Soup is the perfect dish, just wait until all your teeth fall out, then you'll know. Oh, okay. Well, we got cabbage soup, pumpkin soup, and vegetable soup. Okay. Um, Clotho, what do you, what do you have? Okay. Oh, she's got alcohol. Could be interesting. Electric powder, alchemy recipe. Alchemy recipe for what? Hmm. Let's hold off on that. Okay, we got glue. Um. Wow. I'm sorry. Five silver or one? Jeez, okay, well the acid we need that for um the um, astrologer. That's who we needed the acid for. Sheesh. That is pricey though. Okay, well I guess do these go up in price? Yeah, they go up in price. So we'll buy one apple tree sapling for today and uh, there you go. Well then closer. <laughs> You are, you're ruling in it. All right, from here, we're gonna use our delightful fast travel stone. We're gonna head over to the dead horse and we're gonna give this guy his wine. Okay, good wine is my friend, here's a story. Wait, that, um, <laughs> that's what we have to do? So we just give him silver wine to get a story? Oh. I thought there was more to that quest line. Congratulations, the new church is a big deal for our village. Soon enough, I'll be able to add more rooms and tables. Okay, well, you know, happy to help. Let's get rid of this burial certificate. Um, okay, I was expecting a bit more <laughs> from the, the writer, but I guess that means that the stories are actually, you know, worth something. Okay. So, what is up next for us? I guess up next we should go over to Jerry and give him wine. Alright, here you go Jerry, we got your wine. Oh, and he also gave us a story. I don't have any sense of taste, but I can tell it's lacking in alcohol. Yuck, but of course, you have something tougher, don't you? Something like, mm, cognac. Cognac? I don't, sorry. Meh. But you're about to help a friend and go find some, right? The problem is that nobody sells it and I don't know how to make it. How many disappointments can fit in a single minute? 
Is it okay? Just hold on. I'll think of something. Okay. I guess talk to him again. Any ideas about cognac? Oh yes, you just need to find and dig out an old keg. Could you uh, tell me a bit more? It's the old keepers. We used to drink together all day long. Any landmarks? Hmm, dig piles of soil between the village and the lighthouse. There's too little cognac to go around, so do it quietly. Why should I do it? Why? Sod, because I can hardly dig with my teeth. Okay, okay. After that, I'll tell you uh, something cool and important. Okay, I mean, you know, if you, uh, if you say so, Jerry, I don't know how much we can trust you on that. Okay, so let's see, what is the state of our field? Um, we've got a lot of stuff growing at the moment, our inventory is full. Um, let's dig some of these, because I do have some... Oops seeds <laughs> and a shovel bro and we can't even carry it okay well another thing that i did get is the upgrade for new tools so we could craft a shovel too yes we can okay let's see okay we can't even pick it up right now um what do we have in our inventory Hmm, all sorts of stuff that we probably shouldn't be carrying. Okay, well, let us um, plant the sapling, maybe. Oh, we can't even, because uh, we don't have the... Oh, we don't have the shovel, and we don't have all the ingredients. Okay, we're just going to throw some stuff in here for now. Just make a little bit of space so we can move more freely. Let's grab these items. I'll shove this in here where it belongs. Hmm. Okay, so we have quest items and stuff on us. Okay. So. Let's pick up that shovel. The new shovel is equipped. Oh, and this wheat looks like it's ready as well. First, let's prepare these um these plots put the quality fertilizer down and plant our new onion and wheat seeds all right so we planted some of our new stuff but we're still pretty short on space so we still got a bunch more seeds to plant so we're gonna have to plant um a few more uh, what do you call it? uh garden beds yeah Plant garden beds, okay. make new garden beds, dig new garden beds, craft new garden beds, all those things. Alright. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, let's plant our wheat seeds. Here we go. What other seeds could we plant? Um I've got space for some more carrots. I'm not sure that we need to be planting more carrots right now though. I have quite a lot of stuff. Um, so I think we're good for now. We'll wait for more stuff to come from um, the new like vegetables that we've planted because we even need things like onions and wheat pretty soon. Uh, let's see what else we can pack away. Okay so we haven't slept yet but um, it is uh, last day, I think. Is it last day? Yes, that's last day. So we should actually be going to the Dark Horse because we are going to try and speak to Miss Charm. It's you again. Let's be confident with five faith. Let's see how it works. <laughs> I like the music. I think you owe me an apology. I'm not a small man. I'm a respected graveyard keeper. But I'm also a big fan, so you can just call me a keeper. Maybe there's something to you after all. The contrast between your dirty job and your manner. Hmm. Nice to meet you, keeper. You must compliment me not only my talent, but also my beauty. I'd like to hear something nice. Uh, I have some questions. Uh, ask about snake. 
I met Snake in the church cellar, but he's not very talkative. Maybe you can help me make a deal with him. Can't imagine what normal business someone could have with that sneaky bastard. Oh, by the way, if you see him, please throw this fake coin into his face and then come back here and tell me how he reacted. Okay, give fake coins to Snake and return. Okay, well, um... I guess that's all there is for us to do over here. Um, what else do we have going on? Oh, another party has arrived. Let's get rid of this old shovel that's sitting in our inventory because we're not going to be needing that. So, hello, blacksmith. We got something to give you. Okay, trade. Shovel. Oh, he does not have enough to pay us for it. What could we kind of like swap it for? I mean, we're gonna need another whetstone at some stage. We could take the whetstone and like split the difference. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. That's fine. We'll need another one at some stage, and we now now have a way to make more money with the um, you know the gold wine. So things are gonna be a little you know, kind of a bit tighter than we were anticipating financially for now, but I still think that we're doing alright. Okay, Dig, one thing that we're trying to grow is hemp. You have seven seeds. Okay, we're gonna take all- no, we're gonna take none, because we've got no inventory space. Yeah. <laughs> Sticks have been made. Alright, let's go home and I'm quickly going to clean up our inventory a bit because this is getting maddening. Alright, so we are now home and something that also that we need to, you know, be thinking about is um, an upcoming quest, I know, this is going to happen. Um, hmm, I think for now... We should mill um, some of this wheat. And um, this upcoming quest is going to be cooking based. So I want to prepare a couple things that we can. Let's get some rest and we'll continue with this in the morning. Alright, wakey wakey. Let us quickly mill some of this. So I'm thinking this... Dude. Oh no, this is actually for an ongoing quest because today is motion day, which reminded me we need to make dinners. Um, and so I've done a little research on how dinners can be made. And one thing that we're going to have to make is um, snacks and meals. Each dinner needs a snack, a meal, and a dessert. I preemptively, I did buy milk. Um, we need to use this to get jugs of milk. Uh, these can all go back in here. We don't need to be carrying them on us. The wheat can also stay here. Um, okay, so we need burgers and we need um, grape pie. That was the dessert that I looked up that is going to work for us. Okay, so let's make how much? Okay, so two dough is gonna give us two bread, which is one burger, and we need quite a few. So we're gonna make five. Was that five? I don't, yeah, that's five. Okay, so we need five of these. then okay baked meat which means we need sliced meat um fish here we go okay next up on our list is sliced meat and let's see we're gonna need more of this i think we're gonna need about 10.
Oop, not enough energy. Today is going to be a pretty hefty day in terms of energy. Um, but let's get this going. And I think I've tried cooking before, so I'm wondering how this works. Does it work similar to the furnace? Okay, this also needs fuel. Ooh. So, let's see. What fuel sources do we have laying around? Uh, we might find it in here. Okay, we do have coal. So, we'll be using that. I think we do have a little schmidgeroo left. Now, meat. Okay, we're going to make all of this into baked meat. Mm, I believe this is the correct one. Yes. Okay, so we're going to let that do its thing on the fire. And then the last ingredient that we needed is the gold onions, which we do have, so that's fine. Um, oh, we also, we do need to bake the bread. So we're going to just pop that in there for now. This is salt. Salt can go over there as well. Alright, we'll let that do its thing. We should probably bring, bring up some grapes. Uh, mm, I think maybe we'll bring them up when we need them. Uh, although, mm, don't have the energy for it. But um, I was thinking about trying to make some more wine. I do also want to try and unblock some of these things. So this one needs a wooden beam, 10 wedges, 4 iron parts. Okay, and that'll get us to the church quicker. I think, is that the only one we have to open? It's down here. Oh my god, I had no idea this was here. Okay, so this gets us to the town. The satch is closed for now. Okay. Interesting. I had no idea that was a thing. Uh, do we even have enough energy to break this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm, and that's also a wall in our basement. So that one's not high priority because we can navigate around that one. Um, which is the best option? I guess home to the church, right? There is no... Yeah, we're going to have to take out this one in order to um, go from the church to the mall, probably. Okay. Ten minute wages, one beam, four iron parts. We might have all of these things already. Oh, that's the dungeon that way. Okay, I'm gonna go check on those parts and then come back with them. Oh, I just saw Snake go past. We do need to speak to him because we better go throw that coin in his face. Okay, let's clear out this path. Do we have enough energy for it? Uh, do I have more apples? I do. Okay, I wanna try to get this one done. Okay, look at that, progress. Okay, well, sneaky my man. We need to have a conversation. Where are you? Over here. All right. Um, talk business? I was told that you could get some illegal stuff for me. <laughs> if you heard that I could do something, then I probably can, but one good turn deserves another. I'm looking for restoration tools. I've got a job for you. I need you to find me some restoration tools. A job? How cute. Who do you think you are to hire me? I've got silver. I'll pay you. Nah, I've got no use for money right now. If you help me achieving my life's goal, then I'll think about helping you. Quid pro quo, as the villagers used to say. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so if we do the dungeon, we can get enough points to get the town's the town um, pass. Yeah. Okay. First off, Mrs. Charm sent you this. Ha! Huh, she tell you it was a joke. She used to be so sweet and naive. So are you her new lover or what? <laughs> I just met her. 
and already at her back and call typical all right well i guess that was his reaction let's uh, run along we probably should get some rest and um, we can continue with all this in the morning all right we are awake let's move on to the next item on the agenda which is the bread that we need to make so there we go let's have the bread do its thing i'm gonna go down here quickly and i want to check what tools are required for that other wall before checking what tools are required for the other wall i think i'm gonna make um some extra pegs because that could be the only thing that we're still missing and it would be unfortunate if we got there just to figure that out so let's quickly make this maybe we can check it from this side because i think donkey did drop off that body which has been i don't think we picked it up so we've just been sitting there yeah 75 percent this one definitely being cremated really soon okay um clear out oh look at that we do have everything okay great good thing we made those wooden pegs okay and there we go should have a lot of movement down here uh let's take out just the resources that we know that we need so it's going to be bone fat and skin all right i also took the meat out of the body because it looks like we are going to be cooking and eating that um yum and let us light this bad boy on up. Let's see what do we have going around here. We'll leave these bullets in here because we do end up using these here a lot. Uh, do have a bunch of other random things in here. We'll build this pyre as well. And then let's see. There is a lot going on simultaneously right now. So yes, we can check the garden. Looks like we have to do a little loop -de loop to get in there. I wish there was a nicer way <laughs> for us to get into the garden. But yeah, this is currently what we're dealing with. Might need another compost heap, potentially. Uh, here we got more onions that are ready. Okay. Oh, we don't even have space for that. Okay, what can we stash in here? These for sure. I think we should try and sell some of this produce to the farmer because we just have too much. Um, put the gold onion seed in here. Uh, yeah. Let's do a little bit of rearranging. Fertilizer. Seeds. Yeah. That looks good. Okay, put the crop waste in here. We're gonna take all the cabbage to sell. Because we're not using that right now. And yeah, I think that. Yeah, if we can get that off our back, it's gonna free up some space. Maybe give us a little bit more money. So yeah, let's go see if this farm is buying. Okay, I think we got you just in time. Okay, it looks like he is gonna buy some stuff from us. Okay, look at that, a little bit more financial freedom. Okay, great, good stuff. Okay, well, let's head on home. All right, we are awake. So it is wrath day today. Do we have our wine? We do, we have the wine ready for the Inquisitor. So we can move on to the next task that we have with him. I think up next, he's also gonna have a kind of cooking related quest from what I've read on the wiki. Uh, let's see, we gather our resources. It's been sitting out here. Let's put all this back. How shall we start the day off? Hmm. Choices, choices. I think because it's still early, we can autopsy another body because we do have a bit of a backlog going on in there. A um, bunch of bodies stacked up. Um, yeah, they're, they're all decaying, so we're going to be not doing any burying with these, I think. I think probably all of these are going to have to be 
cut up useful parts. Uh, cremation. Great way to start the morning. Let's preemptively get another burning spot going over here. We can also hammer it because I think how sort of errands are running today. I'm not going to be very uh, energy. What's the word? Intensive. Energy intensive. So let's run on up to Witch Hill. See what's going on over there. Before doing that, let's add some more compost um, to the compost heap. And then I will see you guys over on Witch Hill. Alright, here we are. Here is the Inquisitor. And here is your wine, sir. But first, before you get your wine, what to the other half of the graveyard? A couple of years ago, it was desecrated by cultists. They had a picnic there, and I'm not sure that evil play evil has entirely left that place. They had a picnic? Oh my god, so I need to be sure that you're on our side in this fight before I can give you permission to use that part of the graveyard again. Okay. Give permission to unlock the western side of the graveyard. Okay. I think I can be trusted. I'm not sure, but obviously you're more trusted than most of my gods. So here's my permission. Interesting. I wonder if we showed him our rightful citizen papers. If you see anything suspicious, tell me immediately. Okay. Um, here is your wine. Not bad. This will definitely be the best wine they've ever drunk. Soon our cells will be full of witches. Okay, another task down. Now we can ask, how's business? So what's in your mind? Uh, thinking about how you can get more people to come here? One time we were burning old scrolls full of useless junk, like geometry, but one of them was pretty interesting. It said that everything you need to be happy can be provided by two things, bread and circuses. Of course it's only true for pagans, I can't imagine anyone living a happy life without the church and prayer. Still, what could be more entertaining than watching those evil witches burn? Yeah, can't think of anything. Right, so I realize we need to add bread, not actual bread of course, but snacks and drinks. You're a man of business, I can imagine you can open a stand or something, all the profits would be yours. But what should we sell? Beer for sure. Beer is good for patronis, patriotism and burning stuff. And something with meat. That's a very expensive delicacy in the town. I heard you have a source of cheap meat. Uh, but who cares about the little details when you're talking about fighting heretics? Okay, I guess I can make some burgers. Excellent. Build the tent. Fill it with beer and burge burger. <laughs> burgers. Yes, burgers. I'll spread the news. As soon as your tent is ready and we've got a witch, we'll give them the burning of a lifetime. Oh, lordy. Okay. So here is... Okay. Here is the buffet up here. Hemp rope, wooden plank nails i think we can do that i think i purchased some hemp rope before as well oh hey stop sneaking around you've been warned i'm just walking around there's nothing to see here but then what are you doing here it's an ambush mm, not an expert but it doesn't look like an ambush to me inquisitor had a bad dream about this portal and the cultists so now we're waiting here for the cultists what cultists mm, bad cultists they're definitely connected with witches help me out here tom they're a witch cultist bastards. They want to kill our beloved king. If they win, they'll put an end to the Great Inquisition. Yeah, and we'll lose our jobs. Maybe you're a cultist. No, no, I'm the graveyard keeper, and I'm leaving. I can't check the pedestal while they're here. Okay, get rid of the Inquisition guards at Witch Hill. Hmm. Quite the quandary over there. Alright, so I guess um, up next we should start crafting the stuff for the tent. Let's use our teleport stone to get home quickly. Alright guys, so back at home I now see that we have everything to make our burgers. So let's start cooking these. Oh, was I not able to toggle how many I wanted? Ah oh, no, this menu doesn't allow for that. But here, let's, let's craft these fine ones. Uh, I think we're gonna have more than I anticipated. It looks like we get four for each of those. I was expecting uh, less. I thought we would only get one. So we're gonna have loads of food. So I want to craft up all of these so that we can get rid of some of these things that are taking up spots in our inventory. It's a perfect amount. Okay, and they stack nicely. 
can see where was the stuff taken. Okay, we still have bread. Hmm. I wonder where the sliced meat was taking up a spot. Uh, because these are quest items, I think I'm gonna keep them over here. So up next is the desserts for our dinner, for which we're gonna need pastry dough. So let's make 20 pastry dough as well. All right, there we go. Dough is done. Let's pop it in the oven. What would that be under? All right, it doesn't seem like we have the the recipe for grape cakes just yet. So I think for now, um, I'm just gonna keep these grapes in the stove close at hand. Otherwise, we can make cakes for it. The other thing that we can make as a snack is onion rings, and that requires. Um, onion and oil, which I think we should have oil in here. Right, are we keeping our oil? Ah, this one we need to open this bad boy up and turn him into oil. Like this. Okay. There we go. Now, I'm sure that we've heard about onion rings. Um, all right, I can't seem to find the option for um, onion rings either, and I thought we already had it, so I'm going to have to do a little bit more research into that, but it is sloth day today, which means that, oh, graveyard scroll? Oh, maybe this is what we got from the dude. Okay. Uh, as I was saying, yes. So, Sloth Day, Astrologer, Acid. That's what we need to do. I just want to see here if there's something I wasn't considering. No, it doesn't look like there's a different type of thing to cook on. What's this? Cook. Mm, okay, I guess it's just like a, a sort of quick way to make quick food um, okay I want to click on the other side of the graveyard before moving on um, let's see if we can open that with this graveyard scroll get one more thing out of our inventory unlock area nice now we can finally use the western half cool well this place has a lot of sprucing up to do more prime real estate okay let's Head on over to the lighthouse. That's the one. Hello, sir. I have acid for you. Here's the acid. I think there should be more than enough. Okay, so that was one step down. Next up is the restoration tools, which this is gonna be a quandary. Uh, do you have anything that we might, might want to buy? Maybe anything useful to us? Okay, these great books. Okay, I don't think we need to resort to that just yet. But no, don't think there's anything from him that we need yet. This guy said he would he would buy our fish. Oh, looks like we've unlocked a bunch of stuff with him. So we could get this excellent fishing rod. I think fishing could prove quite profitable, and I'd like to give that a try. So I think we are gonna splurge on the excellent fishing rod. Oh, another body has arrived. Let's zip on home. Uh, sweet home. And let's go and see what's up with that body. At least get it on a pallet for now so it doesn't decay any more rapidly than it already is. Oh, uh, looks like we missed one. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, well, you're already at 80 something percent. We'll leave you there. There's no salvaging you, dude. Okay, you, eh, you're not such a great body anyway. Let's take the route this way. Oh, look at this. We're still missing one more wall. Okay, so same thing again, a wooden beam, simple iron parts, and wooden wedges. 
Okay, well, I guess we're going to be using the teleport stone to head home then. So let's do that. We'll head home. Let's swap these rods around. I think I'm going to dump the other rod in here for now. We'll save us the trip on having to go into town. And let's see, we got some stories over here. Let's stash this meat. And yeah, we're a little low on energy. So I don't think there is too much we can do. Um, hmm. Lots of crops going at the moment. Let's get these compost heaps repopulated. Yes. Okay. I think something that's going to be worth us doing is finally harvesting this plethora of crops that we have here um, so we can sell them and turn profit but I don't think that's gonna be something for today because yep we are we're feeling the hurt from the the low energy but we'll grab a couple stuff just so that we have um, good energy source when we do run out because we were running low on our usual berries and apples i think we could cook these like quickly just to like up their ante but you know instead of eating them raw okay put this stuff away um you know we actually need to be keeping skin here for armor that's something okay something that i want to do next time is um yes a nice sword that would be good. That'll help us um, down the mines that requires hemp rope. And we do have hemp rope, but I just remembered we needed that for something else. Was that the the Inquisitor's tent that required hemp rope, maybe? Alright, well, we can also look into how to make that. Alright, guys, I'm going to leave this part off over here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.